In this video, I will show a bunch of ways how you can share GA4 reports with your teammates or clients. First, let's take a look at standard reports in the reports section. Once you go here on the sidebar, you will see a list of built-in reports, but you also can customize the reports. So first, let me show you how to build a custom report here. And then once you add it to the sidebar, all other users of this property will also see the report. So basically, I consider this as sharing the report. Let's say that I go to acquisition, traffic acquisition, and maybe I could select a longer time period. This is my demo property, so I don't have much traffic here, but I can already see that I have some referral traffic. If this was a real property, then obviously I would have more unique rows coming from referral traffic. So let's say that I want to build a report specifically for the referral traffic, but I want to do that based on this report. Therefore, I can go to the top right corner and click customize. If you cannot see this icon, it means that you don't have enough permissions in this property. So click customize and then click add filter. Here we are going to look only at that data where default channel group, and in this case it should be session, exactly matches referral and then click apply. And now this report will show only that data which is coming from external traffic sources also known as referrals. If you want you can do more customization, you can add additional dimensions, maybe add or remove certain metrics, but this is not the main topic of this video. Right now I just wanted to create a separate report. So click save and save as new report. Then we can call this let's say referrals and click save. The report has been saved, but it is still not available in the left sidebar. So click back. And while you are in the report section, click library. Then find the collection where you want to include that report. In my case, I want to include this in the acquisition. Therefore, I will edit the lifecycle collection. Then in the acquisition topic, I will include my newly created referrals report right here. Then click save and save changes to the current collection. Click back. And now if I go to acquisition, the new report will be included right here. And other users of this property will also see that report. So this was the first option how you can share the report. The other option could be to go to a report then click share this report and then you can click share link. Once you copy this link, you can send it to another person, but that person, if he or she wants to see the actual content of the report, they must have access to this property as well. So this is something to keep in mind. Another option how to share a report is to download a file, for example, a PDF. Then once you download it, you can open it. It will be displayed like this and you can forward this PDF file to someone who does not have access to the report, but they still want to see that data for that particular time period. And one more option when it comes to standard reports is to schedule email. You can click schedule email, then you can enter the recipients right here. You can choose scheduling details. And then let's say every month or every week or something like that, an email will be automatically sent to that person or maybe multiple people because you can add up to 50 recipients. And then in the email, they will get the report regardless of whether they have access to your property or not. And now let's take a look at explorations. There are some limits, so you will need to keep them in mind. Let's go to explore, then I can open a report. And then you can click the share exploration right here. Because what you need to keep in mind is that when you go to explorations, normally you will see only those explorations that are created by you or shared by others. So if you have, let's say, created your own exploration, other users of the property will not be able to see that unless you share the exploration. So you can click here and then you can click here and share it. The limitation here that you must keep in mind is that when you share, that report is shared in the read only mode, which means that other people will not be able to edit the report that you shared. They will be able to see that, they will be able to make copies and then edit, but those changes in their copies will not be reflected in your original report. So the collaboration here is quite limited. Then you can export the data and download, let's say as a PDF or CSV and then send the file to other people. So this is another option. When it comes to email scheduling right now, when I'm recording this video, it is not possible to schedule explorations as emails. Scheduling is available only for standard reports in the reports section right here, or obviously custom reports, but they must be in the reports section. 
The next method right now applies only to funnel explorations. So let's say that I will create a funnel exploration here. Maybe I will add several steps just for sake of demonstration. So in the steps section, I will click the pencil and then let's say that I will enter session start. And then the next step is purchase. So I will quickly include that event name and maybe add the name for the step right here and then click apply. So I have this funnel. Now here you will see this icon which says save as a report in the library. And the library refers to the library of the reports section. So if I click this, then I will name the report, let's say purchase funnel or something like that, and then click save. And then if I go to report, then library, and then I edit a collection, for example, life cycle, then I can include that funnel report somewhere right here, for example, in the monetization. And then you would need to save the changes to this collection and that report will appear in the sidebar. And then that funnel will be visible for all users of the property then other two options actually happen outside of Google Analytics. So you could use Looker Studio to build reports that are connected to your GA4 property. And then you could share links with other people to those Looker Studio reports. For example, let's say that I will use this template, then I can click edit and share, then three dots, make a copy, then I could select a new data source, but right now I will keep it as it is, and then copy the report. Once the report is copied, and maybe you have done some modifications, then you could click share, and invite more people to use this report. And the final option that I wanted to mention in this video is that you can also schedule email delivery of this Looker Studio report, and then the recipients will get the report into their email inbox. So you could do that by clicking this triangle next to share, then schedule delivery, and then you can enter the settings that you want, click save, and this means that scheduled emails will start coming into the inboxes of the recipients. And that is how you can share reports in Google Analytics 4 with others. I really wish that explorations could allow sharing the report beyond the read-only mode. Maybe we will get that in the future. If you found this video useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.